Hello everyone, my name is Frisonus and welcome to the Orcs of All Evolved Tech Tier Building Department. Yeah, yeah, finally we can build with Tech Tier in the game. How awesome is that? A huge shout out to Champion Orc. They have an awesome community with several servers. On Champion Orc you will get your own dashboard so you and others can follow your progress. This can be crucial if you want to join a bigger tribe that has certain requirements and they want to check you out. For more information go to championarc.com slash personas, scroll all the way down, claim your starter pack and get started today. Behind me you can see a nice wall. And, and a lot of things has changed uh, according to the dev kit. Because in the dev kit the designs were more like this. So the door frame uh, has still that same uh, design. And I don't know why that is. Because these are the walls. These are the window walls. And they look nice. The, the, the design is, is not like this. But it is nice. It is fine. But why not make the door frame uh, the same thing. So you have for example this piece here as well. So that is a thing I don't understand why that is. So wh wh why? Why haven't you changed it? <laughs> well, here we have the ramp. So the ramp are still the same as in the dev kit. Nothing changed. But the doors and the windows and, and the gates, they have changed. Check it out. You see, it, it, it is a, a wavy effect and, and damn, it looks so cool. But yeah, let, let's go in. Let, do you see? Woo! How nice is that? Isn't that cool? But yeah, here you can see, uh, again, the inside is also the same uh, old concept. So, oh, we had a little bit of lag here. So yeah, please, ch change this uh, all the same. So, so it, yeah, it blends in nicely and now it doesn't. So the, the windows, they act the same. And in a moment I'm going to show you how this all works, how you can change it. So here we have an example for the pillar. I think it looks nice, the pillar looks nice, it works nice, and it works the same as all the other pillars. So, uh, this is a part of the other, uh, the, the pillar below, and this is the pillar, pillar above. And here you can see it is nicely aligned, and here it is the same. Except here, because this one is snapped to the ceiling, and that one is poking through the ceiling, as you can see in a moment. So, that's the bad thing. And what is this thing? Well, this is the tech shield generator and it uh, is named the tech force field. And how does it work? Well, of course you need to learn all the stuff. But you need to put some element in it. And then you can activate it. And then you need to wait 5 minutes. But w what? What is that for Sonos? Need to wait 5 minutes? In the trailer we saw that it was activated when the enemies arrived and the barrier was there. Yeah, I know, but uh, apparently they changed it, or at least, yeah, um, they gave a wrong impression in the trailer. Because in the trailer, indeed, uh, you saw some people standing uh, on their base or in their base, and they saw an enemy coming. They run tr uh, to this thing, and they activated it, and it was all done, and they were safe behind the big shield. Well, we have to wait five minutes. So yeah, while we wait until this is activated, let me show you the other stuff. Here we have the ladders. And, oh, I haven't placed them correctly, I see. Hmm, that's too bad. Well, with the ladders, they were two walls high in the uh, dev kit, but now it isn't. So, let's go up, please. Yes, we can go up. And here you can see, I put the ceiling after I placed the pillars. So it is not poking through. And this is how the ceiling looks from above. And this is how the ceiling looks from below. And here I put the same door as below, so we can go through it. And these are the sloped roofs. Doesn't they look cool? I love the looks of it. I like it. And I love the railings. Check, check it out. Don't you love it? I love it. I really do. Uh, oh yeah, here is the pillar that is poking through the ceiling. So, yeah. You got the same problems if you uh, want to use those. Uh, so, yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Why do you do that? Damn it. I just want to jump over. Well, <laughs> I now jumped over. Um, this is the catwalk. So, I don't think anything has changed. You can see through it a little bit. They are really flat, as you can see here. Nice flat surface. And here I have the fence foundations on them. And this is how it looks from below. So they, they have some snapping points and here you can see them from above. Let me remove this. 
so yeah they, they look cool they look fine and they also added a tech stairs check it out and i like those because they have a pillar here and i didn't place the pillar no 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 normally with the other stairs they don't have a pillar here but now finally they have a pillar here so really do that also with the stone and with the wood and that kind of things because that looks much better i, I like this i like it a lot and yeah they added also the head frame and the trapdoor and check it out it is also totally different than what it was so it is the same stuff as as all the other doors the windows and the kind of things so let's climb up let's look up and it will open for you how cool is that so nice so nice so nice but yeah, whoa, 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 Frasonis. <laughs> okay, well, why did I place this stuff here? Well, it is to demonstrate you something. This uh, Dino Gate, the Behemoth Gate, I placed by default. I didn't change any settings. So let's see uh, what the distance is. So uh, this is one foundation, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. And, and a little bit extra, so six and a half. Uh, pillars it is or distance foundation distance so let's get closer oh what closer when will it open it will open at well roughly at two and a half uh, three foundations distance from the door by default so that is by default now let's go back it doesn't close now what the hell it keeps open it still is open it is still open oh this is bad this is not good for Sonus. no i know i know i know Come on, close. Close. Whoa. So, this was 6.5 foundation distance. So, th this would be 7.5, 8 foundations distance. When it will close by default. So, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. But, luckily, we can change the settings. And first, I want to show you a little bit here. Of the behemoth pillar. I, I think it looks cool. I really think it looks cool. Don't you think it looks cool? And yeah, I, I really thought... Whoa, I do it again. I really thought we we gonna get the doors that were sliding doors. But yeah, we didn't get that. So it's it's fine for me. Okay. Whoa, it is... Oh, okay. Uh, it is activated as you can see. Okay, okay. Let, let me show you how it works. You can deactivate it. But you can make it bigger and you can make it smaller. So, this is the smallest. So, yeah. I don't know why you would have it this small. But maybe it uses less element now. And you can make it a little bit bigger. As you can see. With 0.2, it will get bigger. As you can see. And let's do it all the way to the max. It is getting bigger and bigger. And it will become so big that it is starting to rain. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. Uh, do you see the, uh, my tower over here? That is how big it will be. So that is the maximum range. So that means that it is up there. Up there, there is the tech shield generator. And this is 20 walls high. So that means that the total uh, globe thing, the, the, the total shield, is 40 uh, walls wide. And one other thing that might be useful to know is that you can't place many of those structures together. There is one. There's the other one. It's a small dome now. And check it out. <laughs> I can't place it here. I thought I wanted to test out uh, how much element it is going to use. So I thought let's put one here and one next to it. And let's give the radius of one big and the other one small. But yeah, as you can see, I, I can't even place it here. Damn, damn, damn. Let's see. Deactivate. Activate. You need to wait five minutes. Okay, let's take this all out. It should still activate, yes. And, uh, oh. This one, it is at maximum. So let's see how fast it will drain. Okay, well, the timer is on zero and... It didn't get open because I have no element in it. And I thought, well, maybe it uses one element uh, by activating it. But that doesn't it. So, as you can see, <laughs> it isn't working. So, yeah, you need to wait another five minutes. Damn. 
Okay, let's do it again. There's the timer. And I have a baby next to it. So, it goes open now. So let's see how fast it will deplete. It is on the biggest range. So, j just so we know. Uh, can we show it? Yeah. There you can see. It is in the... Whoa. It is on the biggest range. So that's 10 minutes now. On the biggest range with one element. Oh, that was it. Well, I have to check it out <laughs> with editing back, but yeah, that's about uh, 10, 11 minutes uh, for one element for the max size. Okay, let's test it out again. I put it at minimum, so let's see what will happen. I have a baby here again, and the difference is, well, we can check it out. So, minimum size, and there it will go. So, this will be 20 minutes. So, there you have it. The smaller the shield, the less element it will use. But yeah, I, I wanted to show you about uh, how the doors work. Well, here we have four doors. And the first one is with default. I have a dodo behind it. So, let's check it out. It will open. Hello, dodo. I walk back. And it will close. This one. This one will open for me and it will close right after me. So I go through it and it is closed. If I walk too slow or I wait for it, I get stuck in the door. <laughs> but it will also close. So if you are walking too slow, it will it will just close for you. So how nice is that setting? I, I, I think I like this setting the best. And for example, this is by default and you get closed. Then just look down. And you can change it. So you can say, well, stay open for me. Stay open for me and my tamed uh, stuff. Or don't stay open. And the don't stay open part, I have that on this door. And on this door, I have it will open for me. And it will stay open for me or my creatures. So there's a dialogue behind it. And it will stay open. And yeah, I don't recommend this. I, I, I don't understand why would you do that. That, that would be weird. So let's do the same thing here. So now it should stay open for the dodo. As you can see. So yeah, I don't recommend that setting. And this one. Well, it doesn't open. What the hell, Fresonus? What is going on? It is locked. Yeah, but that's not a thing. I made it like this. So stay open settings. It doesn't stay open. Auto open settings. It doesn't auto open. And auto close. Well, it just closes after half a second. So that's that's the thing uh, like with all doors. Press E, go through and <laughs> it will close. And it will close after you again. But yeah, you can also make it for example um, that it will never close. So you need to open it like an old door. And you need to close it like an old door. But yeah, I, I don't recommend it. I, I recommend this setting. So let me show you. This is don't stay open. Auto open setting. Well, it opens for me. Auto close setting. It closes after half a second. Because it is really fast and then the enemy doesn't have time to walk uh, right behind you and go into your base. So, you should use that setting. And with the head frames, well, I think the head frames, it, it, uh, the trap doors, it works the same as w with all the other materials. The, only, uh, the ladder will only snap to one side. So if you have a wall here and you put the ceiling, then it will snap to this side. And if you have the ceiling onto this wall, so uh, 90 degree angle difference, it will change. It will change a little bit, but then it will snap to that side. So yeah, just so you know, mine in here is snapped to that part over here. So that means th this ceiling is snapped to that wall and not that wall. Otherwise the ladder would have snapped here. So that's all the new structure stuff that I can show you that are now in the game. And how to get those. Because that's the most important thing I guess. So check the tech ramps. You need, you need to learn the tech ramps. Well you need to learn. You need to earn them. And how to earn them you need to defeat the bosses. So let's check it out how that works. 
Okay, let's kill some bosses. As you can see with the blue cross, I have the admin command menu on. Because then I can easily kill creatures, as you can see here. Just one click, and they are dead. <laughs> so that's easy. So let's kill first the broad mother on easy. And there she is. And one click. And as you can see, I learned the tech replicator and the tech foundation. And oh, I totally forgot to show you the engrams. That I don't have any of the engrams. So these are the first two that I learned. So you learn the tech replicator if you kill the bird mother or any boss for the first time. And you learn the foundation. So let's try the bird mother on medium. Let's try to kill her. Whoa, 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 whoa. We learned a lot. Dang, 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 dang. The boots, the ball. Whoa, that was so fast. I couldn't even see it. Let, let's let's check it out, shall we? Whoa, a lot of spiders. Tagrams. What did we learn? The boots. Okay, this one. The catwalk. The ceiling. The ladder. The pillar. The ramp. The wall. The railing. The roof. And the sloped walls. The stairs. And the fence foundation. Awesome. Well, let's kill her on hard and see what we can get then. Let's kill it. Okay, we killed it and we only learned the tech helmet. So you don't learn any... What? Those are a lot of spiders. So we don't learn any new structures for killing the broodmother on horde. Okay, let's kill the mega physicus. Let's see, on easy. Oh. And we got the gauntlets, the window, the window frame, the head strap door. Or the head frame and the trap door. Oh my god. Dang monkeys. Go away. All of you. Okay, there it comes, on medium. And we got the tech rifle, the dinosaur gate, the dinosaur gateway, the door frame and the door. And let's try it out on hard. Let's see, only the Rex tech saddle. So okay, on uh, hard with th those two bosses uh, we didn't get anything. Or at least no building structures. Okay, the dragon boss on easy, let's do it. We got the tech leggings, the behemoth gate. And the behemoth gateway. Okay, cool. The dragon boss on medium. We got a transmitter and a force field. Okay, so if you want to have the tech force field, you need to defeat the dragon boss on medium. And on hard, we can get the tech chest piece. So for the structures, the tech structures, you don't need to defeat the bosses on hard. But of course, if you want to have all the tech stuff, you need to defeat all the bosses on hard. And then you get everything. So let's see. Do we have everything now? I, I bet we do have everything now. Yes. Hey, let's also try out the Manticore boss. Let me show you that I don't have any engrams here. So let's see what we can learn from them. From the Manticore bosses. Here it comes in easy. Uh, we got the tech replicator of course. The tech leggings and the tech gauntlets. Okay. And medium. The tech rival. And on hard. Tech. Okay, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> we don't learn any uh, tech tier structure stuff from the Mendico boss. You only learn this. That's the bad, but that's the way it is. Well, and now we have learned how to get all those tech ramps. Well, you need to build a replicator. So, I, I think th th this looks so cool when, when you place the stuff. Okay, let's place a tech replicator. Just place it. So check it out. Check it out. Here are all the items that I've learned so far. And I bet in the future there will be more. And here you can see some items don't require element to build. And other items, as you can see here, they do require element. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think you will see a lot of bases like this. But maybe you do. I, I, I really don't know. And Fresonus, can we paint the stuff? Yes, you can. You can see I painted it green. And this is a default color. Close. Yes. Check it out. And it is green. And it is purple. And can you change those lights as well, Fresonus? Yes, you can. Check it out. Of course, you can select all, all this painting stuff. But, do you see? You can change the colors as well. So now it has purple uh, lights. So I bet you can do that with everything. Yep. You can just change it all. So if you don't like the blue. And you want to have purple. Or whatever color you want. Just paint it like that. 
And I don't know if we can paint the shield as well. So let's see. Can we can we paint it? Yes, we can. Okay, okay, okay. So I want to have it green. Nice. So you can paint everything. How nice is that? But this is all I can show you about the tech structure stuff. In another video I want to test uh, how to destroy this dome here. How to destroy the shield generator. And how to destroy the walls and the kind of things. What kind of damage it, it will take and that kind of stuff. So that I will do in another video. And don't forget to check out championarc.com slash personas. Scroll all the way down, claim your starter back and get started today. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.